beautifuls, this is Avrami here, and welcome back to Exo Exo Droplets. We're here with the lovely Bay, and Bay is quite quite silly. I love Bay. I'm really appreciating his uh his route. My relationship still? What is it? Thirty seven for now. We need what? Eighty five for the zoo, which I'm very curious about. Eighty for the museum. I think that's about it. Okay. We're almost there. I'm very curious about this, uh, this zoo thing. But neat. Because why is he always here now? Uh, Bay, Prawn, and Shido. We got an L left. 77. I don't think that's enough. It's not. Shoot. Gosh darn- oops. I, t I tapped out. Gosh darn it. Alright. It's bay. Text bay. Find bay. Hello? Oh! Uh, Shiloh, could I borrow your phone for a minute? I forgot to charge mine and there's no one else around I can ask. <sighs> of course you can borrow my phone if you really need it. Thanks. That feels weird to say to you. Really? I know we have some problems, but I don't mind lending a hand. You can count on me. I feel like their voices really... Voices are solo. Stop right there. Why didn't you ask to borrow my phone? For one, I didn't know you were here. Well, I am and you should ask. I don't want to be inconvenienced. Chico. He can use my Weak. No way. You guys almost never go to anyone for help. When it happens, I deserve to be the one you rely on. It doesn't matter. It's not actually a big deal or whatever. See, now he's trying to get out of it. I'm sorry. I don't know why the volume is so low. I had a problem where it was too high, now it's too low. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> no, you're not. You're gonna use my phone and I'm gonna have helped you and I'm gonna have helped you whether you like it or not. That's right, she's very helpful. Sorry. And this is why it's weird to thank you, Shiloh. Saturday. Ask Bay to go on that date with us to the zoo. So we can finish that one off. Yeah. Accept it. Yes. Hey, baby. Are you free tomorrow? Of course. Okay, the volume is really low. It's frustrating me. So I'm going to try to fix it. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Ho hold on. All right, guys. This volume is better now. I don't know if it's changed in video volume, but it's better now on my end. So I'm happy for that. So what happened was my... Okay, it seems really loud now. Hold on. But, what happened was, my Razer Synapse updated, and it has this, like, program thing cra cracking or something, where it, like, just lowers everything, volume-wise, to what it thinks is good, or I don't know how it works. But I just, un I just uh, disabled it, so it wouldn't lower volume things to, to better my experience with hearing, but, um, excuse me, I like my things loud. <laughs> So that way I can hear what's going on, but fix that. But then I had to fix my tablet because my tablet was um, disabled. So I had to uninstall the tablet and then reinstall the tablet driver. And now it's all good. Everything's good now. That took like too long than necessary. But anyway, for you, of course. Yay. Wonderful. Let's go out. Where to, Ducky? You really need to know? Yes, I do. Don't you trust me? Hmm. I trust that there are places you like to go that I do not, so I will need to know what you're planning in order to agree. Oh, so that's how it is. You won't see me unless it's a place you like? For the most part, yes. You're the worst. You're horrible. This is for the benefit of both of us. I can only humor something so much, and if it is truly unpleasant for me, it will ultimately make the date joyless for you as well. Fine. The zoo. <laughs> what? 
How can you just go? How can going there a third time have any point? I think we've had quite enough of that type of quality time. <laughs> I love how, I'd love to talk about that wonderful pun, but I've gotta go. And now you know. See you tomorrow. Same place, same time. I'll be waiting. Bye. But nope. Hung up on him. He looks angry. Sup, stud? Mm. I know you haven't been answering my calls because you don't want me to have a chance to cancel. You called me? I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Well, let me say this now. If you do something that like that again, I won't show up. That is my advance warning. Yeah, yeah. I figured it would only work once. Was taking me to the zoo again really worth your one, t one chance with that little trick? Man, how much money? Well, how much money did she have to pay for the zoo? I didn't look at that price. So I know... At the zoo here, we just pay for the parking spot, but even then, it's like $20. Yes! And we're going every weekend. Well, not every weekend. <laughs> not in this game, because some days we have to skip. Alright, Posey, where would you like to start? <sighs> uh, how about you start with moving the hell over? What? We're standing in the middle of the walkway. <laughs> walkway while we're talking again. I can't tolerate that. It's just too rude. <laughs> Yes, yeah, silly me. How could I do something so re re reprehensible? Yeah, it's the worst thing a human could possibly do. Are you making fun of me? Oh, Nate, why do you sound so hurt, my dude? Holy God, you're here again? Why? I'll answer your question if you answer mine. Yes, dear. We were making fun of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you really didn't need to ask. So, why are you here for a third time? You can't be serious! I'm not going to answer the question of someone who makes a mockery of me and my values. But you said you would. You're right, I did. The world certainly is a miserable place when people are inconsiderate like that. Oh, brother. Actually... You know, Twinkle, there actually is no real the Zool saying... Zool... Zool... Zoo... <laughs> saying you cannot stand in the middle of a walkway. I didn't say it was. And I never said you said it was. I'm simply pointing out that the thing you're getting so worked up over is completely allowed. <laughs> First, I bet you didn't even look to see if it was really a rule or not. Second, whether or not it is a rule doesn't matter. There's no rule against saying you're such a sheep, you should be locked up in the petting zoo. Here. But that doesn't mean I should say it. I think you should say it, personally. It's pretty funny. Oh. A sheep? I always thought you saw me as more of a monster, or at the very least, a wolf who'd eat the sheep. What kind of petting zoo has wolves? No need to get upset. It isn't my fault your analogy doesn't make sense. Anyhow, saying such things only matters if it will negatively affect the person you're saying it to. Which, that certainly will. Uh-huh. I see. Is that so upsetting to you? I'm glad I didn't also say that I'm completely astounded that you're actually able to make it through the zoo without collapsing. Considering your physical prowess. Prowess, sorry. We have to take a lot of breaks. Of course. Thing that would have made me completely distraught. It would have been much too clever and scathing, scathing, scathing to take. Exactly. I'm sure we both we can both agree that bringing up someone's glaring flaws is much more irksome than something mediocre, like generic sarcasm, for example. Oh, absolutely, Starfish. You're lucky all this unacceptable behavior is happening at the zoo instead of the school. There, the people in charge know I never joke around when it comes to what's appropriate, and am always right. <laughs> You'll be in detention forever, where you belong. <laughs> really? Damn, could you get someone expelled? Only if they break enough rules to deserve it. I don't abuse or trust in me, if that's what you're implying. <laughs> but I won't hesitate to bring that option up if someone does seem to, de does seem to deserve it. Looking at you, Bay. Oh no! How well, terrifying, Muffin. I'll be sure to keep it in mind for future reference. Isn't that nice? Amazing how they're so willing to listen when it comes to that, yet they still felt the need to put you in the same group as people like me. I'm leaving! Those two things have nothing to do with each other. Excuse me, you didn't tell us why you've been at the zoo. Ta-ta! Oh, okay, I guess we're never gonna know. I do hope you're not going to go off and cry somewhere like you often do after you get worked up like this. Well, that's over. Okay. Oh, and I see the bears again. <sighs> <laughs> oh my lord, we never found out why he kept coming to the zoo. Sorry. What a tragedy. <sighs> I think I'm gonna die. Investigating that was gonna be the whole point of this date. But then he showed up again and you guys... You guys... Okay. Contest made me totally forget. We have to come back. I'm afraid you had to play 
pet detective on your own. Trigger Plum, I will not come here for a fourth time. But I can't come here alone, that's pathetic. More pathetic than throwing a tantrum because you don't know the silly reason why Nate comes to the zoo. Yes, much more. So sorry. Unfortunate. Oh well. Boo. But you and your lousy attitude were in the state. How can you not make it up to me? I have a lousy attitude? Yes, you. Nate makes you way more spiteful. Mm. He has such, <laughs> no such effect on me. Please, he does every time we come here. Mm -hmm. And did you ever consider that coming here is what made me unhappy each time we came here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, fine. Not being told the truth is clearly the theme of this place. Peachy. Then it must be wonderful for you that we won't be coming back. Whatever. Mm, consider this. Is Nate the type who goes to places on his own simply to have fun? Or is he the type to spend every waking moment stuffing his schedule with extracurricular activities? You're saying this was some kind of school task? <laughs> Almost certainly. Yes, I could see it. Golden Boy must have been here to scope it out as a field trip location or something. Or maybe they want to do a work program thing with the petting zoo. Wow. Wow, why didn't I think of that sooner? You get distracted easily, sweet pea. If that's true, then how come your attempt to move past what you just did by being a jerk isn't gonna work? Because that wasn't what I was trying to do, perhaps. Thanks. Sure. Either way, I want to say things. That was an honest to god nice thing. <laughs> You're very welcome. If you weren't so inattentive, you'd know that's something I do regularly. <laughs> right. My bad, babe. I'll pay close attention to you from now on, so I don't miss any of that good stuff, you know what I mean. Gee. That was cute! He, he realized that we were kind of bummed that we didn't know what Nate was doing, so then he just like... Up a random answer to comfort us. Oh, okay, you're so sweet. <laughs> Too kind. Doing all this shenanigans. Start a convo. Start another convo. Obviously, we don't have enough points yet to go again to the museum, which is the very last date location. Quite curious about prawn. Okay. Uh, Missy, we're here. What's this about? <laughs> I just want to have a little chat with you. About what? Well, get to to get to the point. What's it like being with Bay? That's why you called me here. Why do you care? No one likes Bay, except for me, of course. And maybe Shiloh. Not entirely sure what's going on with that situation, honestly. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> oh God, I hope I'm not getting sick. But that's what makes it so intriguing, so tell me. It's not boring for one thing. Uh-huh, and? What do you do together? Or what do you do together? What kind of things does he say to you? Does he still use those weird nicknames or did he give you a special one? <laughs> um, slow down, girl. I was not prepared for anyone to have this much interest in my relationship with Bay. But, uh, except for Nate, which is weird. <laughs> He's into you too? No, he just hates Bay, and it makes him mad that someone wants to date him. Oh. Mm-hmm. Alicia, come over here. Hi, you two. What are you doing? You know, Missy's making me a little unnerved with a bunch of questions about me and Bay. <sighs> That's right. You're dating him. How's that going? Another question? Man, you gals are lucky I like talking about my accomplishments. <laughs> dating Bay is an accomplishment? Well, since you must know, it's going well. I'm having fun. That's good. He seems pretty obnoxious to me. No offense. <laughs> oh, none taken. He is. What about my questions? What? That's the reason we're here. I don't remember them, but I'll let you ask. One, pick wisely. I don't know when I'll bother talking to you again. I've got a boyfriend I could be spending time with right now. Hmm. Did he give you a special nickname? Wow. Seriously? Yeah, Missy, that's really the question you decided was the most important? Shut up. It'd be cute if you did. Sorry. He didn't. Sucky. I forgot that's your voice. Is that all you have to say about that super important re revelation? Yeah. Well. Let's make sure she never wins a million dollars if she had to ask one question. <laughs> Alright, can we go on date now? Okay. Seven. Heck yes. Sup, Bay? Wonderful. Hello, Cookie. I take it you are calling to ask if I'm free tomorrow. Yep. You got it. So do you want to go out? 
Mm, I have a little time. Did you have something specific in mind? How about the museum? It's sweet of you to think of me, but why don't we choose something we'd both enjoy? <laughs> Excuse me? How do you know I don't like museums? Come on now, Dumpling. We both know it's obvious. <laughs> yeah, well, what's really obvious is that you don't care at all if I like the place or not and just wanted to make a snide comment. Mm. And? And we're going to the museum, you jerk. If we must, but don't complain if you get bored. Uh-huh. Meet me at the plaza gate. See you then. Ta-ta! Alright. Cool. We're just gonna sleep it off. Cause our uh, our energy is low. <laughs> Good afternoon, Muffin. This is exciting. <laughs> I think that's the first time someone has said that about going to a museum for local artists. But seriously, why do you say that? Well... Because I'm assuming this is your very first time coming to a museum and that's also always special. Even if the museum in question is somewhat underwhelming. Wow. Wow. An insult. To me and the place we're going in one sentence how nice and i've been to a museum before color me purple why <laughs> because that's an impressive color uh, you're such a nut oh color me impressed ha huh, ha huh, get it i don't get it lord you're obnoxious that's fine i'm simply pleased you were able to put it together i wasn't entirely sure you would so if this isn't your first museum what was some field trip and like Great. But you never thought this was my first time anyways. Very astute of you. Yes, you must have been to many museums, considering how clever you are. Uh-huh. Whatever, Bay. How about you? When was the first time you visited a museum? Likely when I was still a baby. My parents have a very sophisticated have very sophisticated taste. Okay. Is that a cat? No, it's not a cat. I thought that was like a cat looking at the painting, like the statue of a cat. Okay, whatever. Then when was the first time you remember? I have a vague memories of seeing dinosaur skeletons in a museum when I was around five or six. Really? Oh. Is there something strange about that? Yeah, a little kid being impressed by dinosaurs is cute and normal. I thought you were better than that. Uh, there is only so much one can expect from a child. Seriously? Even when that child is you? Yes, dear. Weird. I thought you were born pretentious and pr patronizing. Not at all. Well, I didn't mature much sooner than everyone around me. It still took some time. Is that so? Well, you know what that means. For once, I don't. Please explain, Gumdrop. It means you're gonna have to tell me about Little Bay. <laughs> I'd rather not. There isn't anything of note to say. I'll be the judge of that. Where would I even start? Come on. Just tell me some of the things you liked before you matured. Alright, but you'll have to answer questions for me too. Sure. Sure, ask away. I can't blame you for being curious. What's your name? What? That is one of my questions. I have two more. Um, Michiko? What's the color of the sky? Depends on the time of day. Cute. Clever. <laughs> what color is it now? Blue, probably. What's the opposite of down? Up. Michiko blew up. What the hell? I've never heard of that. All the children on the playground I went to would run away trying to get others to say sentences like that. Are you for real? Okay. For what reason? It was fun, I suppose. That's fun? I think spilling I cup out loud is more fun than that. <laughs> wow, that is amazingly dumb. <laughs> True, it really didn't make any sense. That's why I could never go to the bank. Are, are puns seriously better? Of course. Hey, you avoided that whole situation. So, what did you think of the museum, Sunshine? I can pay attention after being so repulsed by your terrible sense of humor. <laughs> what a shame. I'm sure you would have enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. You avoided the question of, um... Little Bay. But it's okay. We have two more date times. Section. Oops, I didn't mean to click settings. Go with. I didn't even see who, who we're going with. I don't think we have enough, so we're just gonna have to text. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, no, 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 Kylo. Kylo is after Pran. Pran is next. I don't know why the game lagged out right there. <laughs> you guys saw. I don't know, honestly, Bay might top me. Hey, Jeremy and Pran. Are you excited for the pep rally today? Uh... Why is that so funny? 
Because it is. You two black holes of enthusiasm being anywhere near something like that is hilarious. Hmm. <laughs> Remember when the cheerleaders made a petition to ban you from their pep rallies? Yep, too bad it didn't go through. Uh huh. I feel like I should be more surprised something like that happened, but I'm not. Don't worry, the three of us can sit together. I'll be peppy enough to make up for your stunning lack of spirit. No. Nope. That's exactly the type of lukewarm reaction I'd expect from people who were in need of an excitement assistant. This will be fun. No. Nope. Oh. Okay. Fine. Fine. They don't want our peppiness. It's fine then. Oh, it was only 75? Hello? Hiya, Bay. I'm in the mood to go out again. That's wonderful, Twinkle. Thank you for sharing. Uh-huh. Uh, you're coming, right? Of course! I would never want to miss an opportunity like that. Great! Is there some place you want to go to? You actually want me to choose? Not exactly. You can give us <laughs> You can give a suggestion and I'll let you know if I'll accept that idea or not. How precious. You're too generous, Ducky. I know, so what you got? Well, if I remember correctly, you didn't get much out of our little trip to the museum. And it's quite unfortunate, don't you think? Museum? Nah, I guess we should go there again. <laughs> really? I had expected you to immediately reject the idea. Sorry. I'm not as predictable as you, Bay. See you tomorrow. Yes, goodbye. Oh, that's sweet. It actually went through. And that, I think that's the first time we actually offered the guy to, to pick a place. Hello! Boy, you shook me to the core. You're wearing something so stylish. <laughs> I, again, he always picks the glasses that doesn't match the outfit, but it sticks out. Hello, Twinkle. Hey, Bay, isn't this exciting? What? <laughs> That's what you said last time. Cute. How touching. I wouldn't have assumed you'd spend valuable mind space remembering things I've said. Oh, well, it was a pretty absurd thing to say. You know what, Bay? I'm proud of you. A force sweet key. For not being the type of guy I expected you to be. <laughs> and how exactly am I not what you expected? Well, truthfully, I expected you to be some kind of snob when it came to clothes. Only wearing really expensive junk and that kind of thing. Are you trying to be sarcastic? No, I mean it. But Cookie, I am I am like that. Psh, don't be so modest. Would a guy like that ever have gone out in public wearing a jacket that was obviously on sale for being defective? How is it defective? Is it because of style right here? <laughs> I think you need to check again. There's nothing defective about this jacket. Or anything I own for that matter. Uh-huh, sure. That off-center zipper... Off-center zipper was just on purpose. It's on... It is on purpose. It's obviously on purpose. Sure, babe. Whatever you say. But there's no... <laughs> there's really no need to be embarrassed. I already said I like that kind of thing, didn't I? Fine. I so appreciate your compliment, dear. You're welcome. Now that we're here, I expect you to pay attention to the pieces, Dumpling. That's why we came today. All right. So you better focus, too. I'm sure it'll be hard with no dinosaurs around to keep your interest. <laughs> Are you going to spend the entire date bringing up what was mentioned last time? Probably not. How reassuring. However, you seriously should endeavor to stay with me here in the present. The present is the greatest gift you <laughs> ever get, and there's so much you can take from these works of art. That's why I wanted to come back here. Although even if you did pay attention, it might be expecting too much for you to actually understand any of it. Oh well, we should still attempt to get something through. Oh brother. Please, do you want to come here so you can have an excuse to be extra snooty and show off your sophisticated taste? I would never. Now where did you ever get that idea, Starfish? I care deeply about broadening your mind. Yeah, I'd say it's probably 75% what I said and 25% what you said. But speaking of sophisticated, tell me about your parents. What? Ha! Huh. I want to know about your family. Are they like you? Or are they normal? And you're weird even amongst them or what? Why all of a sudden? Because you attempting to broaden my mind sounds terrible. I'm trying to change the subject. <sighs> are you really going to waste our time here again with irre 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 irrelevant chatting? The museum isn't going anywhere. There's always another day. Now get to it. Well... He could, he could use that same line on us, though, that there's always another day to figure out about him. I'm the first born in a family of four children. I was raised by my mother and father. My mother was born in this country, and my father immigrated here during his late 20s. They both have family in South Korea. Is that so? I see, I see. And your siblings? 
Is this really interesting to you, Sugar Plum? It's good enough. If you say so, after me another boy is born, then a girl, and finally another boy. I don't think my parents are planning on having so many children. Wow. Weird. And I, I honestly can't even imagine what the parents of someone like you are like. And I don't mean how intelligent they are. I mean, like, where could they have gone so wrong? <laughs> my parents are lovely people. Very encouraging, highly supportive, never disciplinary. Why would they need to show tough love when they have a child as flawless as you? Fair enough. A fair point. However, there was another reason for it, at least when I was small. Something besides you being perfect? Impossible. It's true, I'm also amazed. It passed me by during those years, though it's obvious on pun reflection. When I was in elementary school, some rather unruly little ones rather pitifully attempted to bully me. Aww. Poor Bay. I didn't even notice. However, my parents certainly did. Excessive positive reinforcement was their attempt to counteract any negative effects the bullying might have had. That's just beautiful. You get along with your family, huh? Wonderful. Oh, yes, yeah, spectacular. Ex spectacularly. I worry every day about how they're doing without me. Sadly, my education was simply too important. It would be a tragedy if any of my potential was wasted. I bet it's been tough, but if you were still wherever they are, then I wouldn't be able to enjoy your wonderful company. And isn't that far more important? Uh, no. Not even a pinch. <laughs> Rude. The, the one time I would have liked you to humor me, you blow it. You blew up last time. It makes sense something else would be blown up this time as well. Well, if you had to start bringing up last time too, did you have to pick that part? Aren't you ashamed? No. Okay, fine. Well, I had fun. Isn't that nice? Oh, nice. Maybe someday you'll, you'll do more than that and learn something. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Talk to Bay. I, I thought my mouse would click faster on those choices, but it didn't. Sleep here. We'll sleep on this. A. Two. Are we stuck? Are we maxed out? Hey, Prawn. Pran. I know his name is Pran. I don't know why I keep saying Prawn is dead. Is it... Oh, it's his birthday! Uh, happy birthday, beautiful! I bet a mature man like you is John... Jonessing for some grown-up fun, huh? Huh? Winky face? I think I can help with that. Cute! Oh, he blushed! Unfortunately, I had to pass on that very subtle fate. I so hope I'm not disappointing you too much. Darn. What a shame. I appreciate the compliment, at least. The first one to be specific. Yay! Welcome, I guess. Can I tell them a birthday beautiful? Hey, okay, here we go. The last time. Nope. Psh, debated myself. But that is the last. The official last time. Good work, actually. Oh, yeah. Are they asleep yet? Mm. It won't be for long if you keep talking so loud. Sorry. My bad, can I talk at all, or is that forbidden during nappy time today? It isn't forbidden, but you should wait for me to come over there. Alright, now you can talk to me with a normal person's voice level. Wonderful, let's talk about something. Find me, Starfish. Okay, hmm. What would you say is your least favorite thing about working here? <sighs> children messes. <laughs> what are children messes? Is that what happens when two grown-up messes love... <laughs> ...love each other very much? They are the kind of messes made by children, obviously. Kids aren't the only ones who can make a mess. Yes, but they are the only ones who tend to cover everything in finger paint or throw things up against the ceiling to see if they stick. I guess, though I wouldn't put that kind of thing past all adults. Fair enough. The difference is I won't be the one cleaning up after them. True. Anything else you don't like? Uh, yes, but doesn't everyone have things they don't like about their job? Calm yourself. I'm not accusing you of anything. I just like hearing you talk about things that make you unhappy. Oh, is that all? Alright then, Sugar Plum. It also makes me unhappy when parents let their children come when they're sick. 
I know you're busy and you can't stay home with your child, but we are not a hospital. Find someone else to properly take care of them. <laughs> and that brings me to another point. The parents are often more childish than their children. I'm very grateful I'm rarely the one who has to deal with them. Honestly, not everyone should be a parent. Harsh. It's the truth. We can only do so much here. The rest of us, the rest has to be handled by people who need help growing up themselves. Being a parent is harder than it looks. Exactly. You should have thought of that before having a child. Uh huh. I'm sure you'd have all the answers if you were a parent. I will be a parent someday, and I'll certainly be more qualified than those people. You're really set on being a parent? Absolutely. I have four or five. Oh, character. <laughs> Got to start working on that. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? Let me know how it all works out for Daddy Bay. <laughs> Daddy Bay? It'll be peachy, I'm sure. Now that that's settled, I'm gonna check on the children. Okay, good luck with everything. Yes, dear. Thank you, though I promise there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, I think there's plenty to worry about. Wow, he wants four or five kids. Insane. Insane. Okay, now we have enough points. We have enough points go on our date but anyway this is where i'm gonna stop today's episode off i hope you guys are enjoying it so far stay beautiful and i'll see you guys in the next one